Hey guys, welcome back to the CNJ show. And I have my favorite gin and juice with me, and I have my sister Nick here. And this is part two. So we're continuing on with what we were talking about with Kim and Kanye and all they little mess that they had going on in China with just everybody not having no class, if you ask me. So Nick, Jenna Juice, who, what were you guys saying about with the Kanye and the Sway thing? Like he was just really different. Was, that wasn't around the time when he was trying to become saved, was it? No, was what, it what, 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 what happened was, I guess he was running out of money because he put all of his money. And that, maybe not literally, but, you know, he putting his money into these things. That's when he wanted Nike to give him, I guess, part ownership when this company been around since I don't know when. And you just came around and put out a shoe. And they like, okay, well, no, we're we're Nike. We're always going to be Nike with or without you. We yeah. put out a shoe, but that's fine. But we're Nike. We're not going to give you part anything. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I guess, you know, he did a different type of move, which is smart. A lower uh, shoe brand, which was Adidas at the time. Um, which Did they, they was on, give him part ownership? I get. I think they gave him more um, creative. Yeah, control. right. Creative control and you know things like that. Which you know, obviously, you get paid more money and things like that. Um, but I guess Nike wasn't having that, so he was on there ranting about you know Ralph Lauren and Walt Disney and this, that, and the third. Like all of these big names, people that didn't work hard for their stuff, yeah. right? The, you know, the type of opportunity he want wanted was. The opportunity that you give to your kid that you know your grandchild is coming up your child you is coming up down. you pass that down that's not somebody stuff something you just give to some random joe that's what he yeah. is he's a random joe so at that time uh, yeah i mean still you're a random joe companies. these are big companies these are multi-billion dollar companies like who are you you get what i mean and i also think that too what kanye be what he also do a lot which he's very smart and i notice sometime when you're that smart and you have like oh my god the intelligence of freaking who knows um you can sit and think and he just i think be just thinking to where it just keep going and going before you know it you're with him then all of a sudden he's talking about something that you don't even it doesn't go together he can start talking about cheese and grits and we're just like okay so we just was talking about the yeezys mm -hmm. now you just said cheese and grits and then he'll hit you with the line like yeah, but those cheese and grits was the reason how I got those cheese. Right. I think yes. he just comes across to me as a very, like, untrusting, paranoid person all the time. Yeah. I feel Thanks. like he's very manic all the time. Like, he's constantly from one thing to the next. Like, it's just like, you yeah. never, he don't know up from down. Right. And because he, he got money. He and too, on one, like, but you know what? Like, I also mm -hmm. think, too, he did that. When he do a lot of his stuff... I really do think that it is based based off of Jay Z and what Jay Z um, has, accomplished. has accomplished because no, Jay Z. I don't think so. Yes, he did. No, yeah. seriously, because Jay Z so. has it's said what, what he though? don't. Because Jay Z was never the type to say, "Okay, listen, I don't." He don't invest. He he talks. Listen, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna be a partner with you. It's no, you you you're not giving me an opportunity. I'm coming along to give you an opportunity. So everything that he has, he is a partner. He's 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 partnered with right. these people. Right. Jay Z wanted to. Start, I mean, Kanye wanted to start to do that, but then you. You know, he didn't have enough growth to do all that. You're at this moment, you're just a good rapper. You can't take it right to that part. That's how him and I think Jay Z kind of had a little disagreement. Yeah, no, he, no, I think also because he's just started being too manic. But also, I think too, I think another the, the, the second thing is I think it's just like how you were saying. You know, I think he wanted that respect. He wanted that recognition from people, and it's just kind of like people laughed at him, like he say. You know, all his feelings were hurt because when people were saying how stupid he was for barging on stage and saying that, you know, to Taylor Swift when she just got her first award. You know what I'm saying? I think he says a lot of and does a lot of. And he did that because I think with Jay-Z, Jay-Z being his whatever. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that was like a dad to him must be. And he was just you like, know, okay. He said, cause he said, well, you know, he, he mentioned it once. He said, you know, we, you know, yeah, Jay, y'all, y'all ain't spoke me and. X amount of time and X amount of, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, yeah, man, you're dangerous. I can't have you around my family like this. Like, you're, you are too impulsive. 
Who yeah, knows and you never actions. know what he's gonna say. I or mean, do, uh, yeah. You know, it's just, you, you too Which bad. I hope that that does calm down. If he could just calm himself down just a little bit, because it's just it. it he's doing better. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think he's much better. I think he's in a better place than what he was before. From the look of it, I don't know. And who knows? Maybe he's gonna be more outspoken because I know just recently though we had an episode where he was saying how, you know, he don't like how Chris is he, he don't want his daughter to be like, you know, how Chris did her, her children where she, you know, um, sold them or you get what I'm saying? Whatever. What Chris? The, 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 um, the mom. Chris, uh, uh, Chris Kim Jenner, mom. Kim Kardashian's mom. Sold them. Basically to, like, oh, well, you know, you're selling them to these, to the industry and to these men and, you know, you're having them naked and doing this, that, and the third. Yeah, those women. things, I'm pretty sure they wanted to do the, the, with no, them. No, no, they I understand that, but them. I'm just saying, he, he had his mind in the way he And thinks. I think he, he, he's like a child, too, in a sense where, you know, everything that you think don't need to be said yeah. to the public, I think you can sit down and have a conversation with with Chris Jenner face-to-face and I don't know, like, look, I don't want my gra- my kids to be raised how you raised yours or how you pushed your kids in the industry. There's nothing wrong with that. But you don't bring that to the public. Right. You know, even about the thing that he said about Kim was contemplating having an abortion um, with her child. And, you know, that was the breaking point for Kim. Allegedly, yeah. that was the breaking point. And that eventually led to her filing for a diver- divorce from him because... He was just. What did she go through with it? Yes. Yeah, they get divorced. They filed for she filed for divorce last Friday, I think it was. And and I think she did that because you know what, she have had to come and rescue this guy, from so many things. And and so you know what, what I what I when you was just saying, I was just thinking, with him, you say all of this, but it it don't make sense to even say it when you yourself you did hey. Kim is your wife, so that go, should go out the window. If you really did to feel that way, you shouldn't even shouldn't even have been even talking to nobody like this. Her or Amber Rose. Okay? But he's very vain. If you ever listen to him, it's not about, you know, my wife is so, you know, she's so articulate. She's so, you know, she's so amazing. She's been there for me. She has the most courage of words when I'm feeling down. No, it's, you know, did you see her? She's the, she's the most beautiful woman in the world. She is to be the most and that's okay. That's good. But it's the only thing that he has to really to say about her. He was more in love with what she looked like. Mm-hmm. He's very vain. I've never really heard him say anything outside of that. So once that part gets old and you're already used to it. Because that is all you? that she is. Well, no. I mean, I'm pretty sure no. that's other things. No. Kim is, I completely no, disagree not. with nah, that. Nah, she, I don't, I don't agree with that either. Kim yeah. was able no, to build a billion dollar industry, not industry, but a billion dollar family just based off of her tactical her move. Her take like, with the raging. She was able to raise her entire family up from there. I mean, they were, they already had money. These people are already well off. Further, further up. But. I mean, to be able to take every single member of your family is known because of you. But you got to understand, though, but, but it's not only because of that, though, Jandy. Let me tell you something. No. She created a look. Let me tell you something, Jen. No. What she did, yes, it was very, she, 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 she capitalized off of it, but it had a lot to do with what she looked like. Because mm-hmm. more young girls but wanted to look like her. her. That's still of her Of course, doing. that's her doing. But what I'm saying is, had she not looked like that, she didn't do anything that was just so out of this world. Yes, of course. While you have that, while you're in that position, of course, you got to take it and move. Like, that's like with Kevin Hart. Monique, well, you can say that about anybody because at the end of the day, everybody have a body. So why is everybody family not yeah. millionaires and billionaires? No, everybody don't have a body and everybody don't have a look. She had a whole thing going on. And at a time when nobody wasn't doing that shit. Nobody wasn't doing, you know, really butt surgeries like that. So what you're way. saying is, basically she made $900 million off of a TV no, show. No! I'm, what I'm saying is that she created something, like a look. Now, she already was a beautiful girl, but what she did was she capitalized off of it. She created something where people would want to tune in because guess what What she looked like? How she dressed, the way she carried herself. She's already fashion forward. Mm-hmm. So guess what? The reason why you watch her is because you want to know what she want to wear next. What she going to look like next. It's not like and the show is so some, intriguing. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Like where some people would just take that and just be in magazines or just be pictured here and there. Be posted on blogs every now and again or whatever. 
she was completely opposite of that. Of course, but Jendi, that's just like a lot of people though. Look at the rappers like a Jay Z. You know how many rappers like that that had the position that he that he's in right that he was in. And didn't do anything wicked. Look at somebody like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne talked okay, the charts. So how could you not give her the credit for, for not taking I did, advantage No, of that. I did. I said I said she, she did. But what I'm saying, is, I ain't saying she, I'm not taking anything away from and her. And she did a whole new movement with these, you know, her Skims clothing line. Everybody wants to do loungewear now. Everywhere you go, people, nobody cared about Well, I know they wear. had something inside of the um, Sears at one time and I didn't like but it. But what, uh, what only thing I'm saying is, right, as far as from marriage, uh, from a marriage standpoint, right? It's more than, especially if somebody are, you know, he have enough money. Maybe he don't have as much as she do, or maybe he do, right? But once you start getting over a hundred million dollars and over two hundred million dollars and stuff like that, it really don't matter no more because there's nothing that you can't afford. There's nothing that you can't really buy. What could you not buy? And right? I do say, and I think this too. Now I agree with the both of you, but I also think this. Um, you know, just like Nick said, and just like you're saying too, Jingles. I think it's the first time. For for everything, if when you come out with something at a time where it gets anybody attention yeah, yeah, and you're able to just keep going, like at the time Kevin Hart came out at a time when basically all the comedians kind of had died down a little bit. They wasn't doing anything. Yeah. So once we got a, a clip of him, he didn't stop. He did everything, especially by him being a little younger. And then now the, the internet, internet is taking it. control, mm -hmm. and this is where it was. He was able to do was so many more. different things. Mm -hmm. Now, I do think that Kim is a, 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 she looks better than all of her sisters. I mean, she really does. And everybody we used to always say that, which is not good. But the thing is, she was talking to Ray J, talking to all these guys, talking to all the black guys. And this is the thing. Those guys, yes, African Americans, she and her being a lot of different guys too. Who? Not that we the, know of. Who's Chris Humphreys is the yeah. only Chris Humphreys that um that bodyguard. Then that was no, thing? that was a rumor. Oh, that was just no. Okay. It, yeah, she talked to yeah. Uh, she okay. talked to all these different these these also. With these, as I remember when I first watched the show, I'm like, okay, so what is so spectacular about this girl? She just sit there and text. And you have her mom constantly calling her name. Kim, could you do anything except I just sit there? You're te texting away. You're yeah. into your phone. She did nothing. I didn't even know how Kim looked. Because I'm like, dang, this girl just stay on his phone, texting, texting, texting. Her mom is constantly calling her. She acted like she can't hear it. <laughs> she always was playing like she couldn't hear. But no, but what I'm saying was, right, I don't, I don't disagree with now one of y'all, right? We get of what course, you're saying, she, as a as a wife. As a wife, it was nothing you can ever say did she, about. What she do? Yes. She was beautiful and she made money and she, she was a businesswoman. Okay, but wait, so but what? you know what? But wait, what? what, what but you know what it is? Said she was just a pretty face. No, no, no. I said she was. Mm -hmm. I said she had. She got money. She, she, yeah, she so was a, a businesswoman. So yeah, a businesswoman. Whatever. She's a businesswoman. I won't say money. I said she's a businesswoman, mm -hmm. and she was she was beautiful. Okay. What do you have to offer a man who also have money, who's not stable, you know, mentally, and, and is going so, through things? And what so, could not you have to done? say any, not to I say agree. anything. I don't think she was a nurturer. Not, I agree. Not to say anything. Out of everybody that she has had a relationship with, right? I think it was based upon beauty and sex but once you reach a certain level like okay for an example ti and tiny people say tiny is very ugly i disagree i think she's a beautiful woman in and out i don't know why they say that all the time now i will say this ti never just say my wife is beautiful he goes and he really just take in like no listen man my wife is the best thing i ever had you say something i'm gonna check you you ain't gonna do that no more and she's been there for me she's you know it was just it's, it's a lie that, like oh she's a beautiful woman inside and out when people say inside and out i feel like that's the code to say that you're ugly why not just say that i'm beautiful no, meaning I think at that time she was saying inside and out, meaning like you got a good, you have a good heart. Some people, once they get money, they, they turn into little demons. Like with Kim, y'all would never say, oh, she's a beautiful person inside and out. People just say she's beautiful, flat out. She's beautiful. Uh, because inside, because don't know she don't that. have the inside out. I mean, <laughs> the inside that we would personally know. She's just, you yeah, know. She seemed like she's very, no, she's very. But she do know how to 
to get a dollar and guess what a lot of which is which i'm just being honest everybody love certain things like i used to say for for the longest time why is it so many people love iphones right but guess what a lot of people that have iphones can't tell you probably five things that they love about their phone except but everybody else have it I, I, this is why I love iPhone. Everybody, it's a name. And everybody, a lot of people is wearing stuff because of a name. What is those things? Those Bentsy, what are those things? Bentsy what is it? Yes. Uh, would you buy, I mean, do you really like them or do you like them because of the price? And everybody would feel a certain way. Yeah, because in person they are ugly. They're very heavy, big shoes. They're but bulky. they're very bulky. They very they look like almost like orthopedic shoes. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> but the thing is, it's true. But I mean, I don't know. C cutting back to um, the, the Kanye West and the and the and the Black China and everybody. Yeah. Right. I I I, I feel like with the I'm I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna deviate a little bit. I'm gonna go back to Black China real quick because that's what we kind of started off talking yeah. about, right? This is the this is a, a part two of that. I disagree with her friend going and telling all of her business like that. I felt like that was kinda like nasty. I don't feel like you do that to somebody. That was definitely nasty. Said how it is. It was nasty. It was trifling. It was everything disloyal. It was everything that a bad friend is. After you break up with a person, that doesn't mean you go and leak their nudes. After you mm -hmm. break up with a person, you don't go and say, oh, they had this type of body odor or that. You know, whatever it, whatever skeletons they have in their closet. It was... I think also those things that, 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 that what happened, I think because they had a falling out. And China was, and, you and know, actually, also have said things to her that wasn't good and she was trying to be there for China as a friend but China had got this whole this Hollywood I'm the it girl and sometimes some people when you get in that position like I'm the it girl you kind of tune out everybody else and start to be kind of you know you can be very nasty and, and kind of get back to and kind of get back to so. and kinda, wait real quick some people we not everybody we didn't really touch on what the friend said because even on part one we really never touched on exactly what the friend said so do you guys want to do like a part three and really introduce what oh, just or just want to say it now because we already like said yeah minutes, i mean I make it too, too long. yeah i mean we could just come back to the um we can come back to and do the the three on and we'll we, well we will say what she did that we think that it was not right what she said i don't think that she said anything um that china didn't already say or do to people <laughs> yep yeah so mm -hmm. well so catch us on part three we're going to end this we're going to start part three so that way you guys can so it's not too long so that way you guys can kind of like catch right back up into what we're talking about jen all right guys